So today I found out that uh, my daughter's piggy bank got robbed. And come back. I think it was last, um, must have been October or something. Somewhere around there. I know it was the second quarter or the spring quarter of uh, college that was going. So that would have, no, that would have been uh, maybe about uh, a year ago now. Uh, February, March, or whatever. That my savings got tapped into. So it's spring quarter in college right now too and uh, today's uh, February 1st I think and it's uh, currently 3.17 p.m. and or no February 2nd yeah. something like that and well I found out my daughter's piggy bank got robbed and I wasn't accusing her or anything I just said you know well she wanted me to take the kids out to eat when I was going up to Olympia to pay on my stuff up there and I said you know I can't do that now the kids don't have no money to take them out with they got robbed she did admit to taking my money a year back and I'm still to talk to her about that still need to talk to her about that she's sending me messages saying I love you which for me it's just okay I really don't know what to go off of sure I love you too but you're having an affair you're dating someone else and you want to get divorced from me so you know, what the fuck's going on She did admit to taking money from me and that it's one thing that really bothered me for a long time. I just need to get my camera set up. She's supposed to be coming to the house now and take us to McDonald's or whatever. I don't know. Maybe try to talk about some stuff, but she's probably not going to want to. The kids are here. We can't talk about that right now. We need to talk about that in counseling. I'm just getting fed up with all this shit. I rode in her car the other day, a few days back, and she had a, an M&M uh, curtain call, uh, the greatest hits for m and So I got that same CD too. And I wasn't really saying much of anything. Oh, you took it from me or whatever. No, I wasn't saying anything about that, but... I just wanted to be sure that when I did get home, I checked my CDs and it was still in there, so no big deal. No big deal. Last night she messaged me saying she missed me, which I talked about that before. And with her sending stuff like, I miss you, I love you. I'm feeling something's different. But she wasn't doing that before. Either she's playing a game or she broke up with Dum Dum or whatever. I don't know. I know it gets me aroused reading messes like that. I was expecting her to come over last night and she didn't. Oh, uh, Tim's mom wanted me to do shit around the house or whatever. What the fuck ever. I don't know. Why do you ask to come over if you're not going to come over? I didn't even expect much of it at all. I don't even expect her to come over now either. And she wants another baby too. I have a bisectomy. I can't do that unless I pay, what, like $2,000 to get it reversed or whatever. Even that's not guaranteed. 
Why the fuck would she want to be with me? I'm an asshole that's done too many stupid shit in my life. But yet she still sends me messages saying she misses me and she loves me. I don't know.